Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you all being here. I am going to dive a little deeper into the Illusion Bloom. I created this one and it's so pretty. I love it. Um, I do have tons of materials coming to add to this uh, technique, so stay tuned. I'm going to link Tatiana Borisova uh, all of her tree link information. She has a YouTube channel. It's called Tasha's Acry Acrylics or Acry Acrylicious. Um, I will link that down as well. She does the Illusion Dutch Pour, which is who I got this idea from. I am ordering some Nova, Nova Gel that she uses in hers. And today we are using a canvas that I had laying around. Um, actually, after I sold the last one um, when I experimented with the gel on top I should have made another one and a video but I didn't that was like last year uh, but this one is on my YouTube channel it is I think video number 94 or 96 it is the budget uh, bloom on a budget number three so if you want to check that out I'm gonna link it up here and put it down in the description box as well. So I'm excited to get busy. We're just gonna do some texture on this canvas. So uh, let me get you down on the canvas and I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I hope that you ring that bell because we're gonna dive into this a little more. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I will see you guys on the canvas. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. We are going to do another illusion bloom and like I said in the beginning of this video this bloom is from a budget bloom that I tried with different ingredients and the normal bloom ingredients so if you guys want to go check that out I'm going to put it in the in the in the description box so let's get busy here so I'm just not prepping the canvas at all I'm just wiping it off and we're just gonna get started I did not put this is the impasto clear gel acrylic medium uh, from art supply us art supply on amazon i've got this in my amazon store um, if you want to check it out and this is what we're going to use i'm just going to go with my palette knife around and we're going to just kind of make a spiral and we're going to see what happens with this clear gel there's nothing tinted about it it's just clear let's just try it out and see how it works I'm gonna do so many different things with this type of technique, so I'm really excited to dive in a little deeper. Like I said, I got this idea from Tatiana with Tasha's Acrylicious uh, YouTube channel. I actually saw reels, either a reel or a short that I saw. And I thought, wow, that is really cool. And I need to try that with the bloom. So, you know, I think I put on a little more than she does, but I kind of, I'm doing that on purpose just to see the difference. I know what hers look like. So, and um, I don't know if you heard me in the beginning, I've ordered some Nova gel that she uses. It's on the way, it should be here next week. So I'm pretty excited about getting that and starting using that. Still trying to figure this out. So what the, what the best way is to do it. So we are just experimenting. If anyone's used the Nova Gel, please leave me a comment down in the comment boxes. Let me know what your thoughts on it are. I'm excited to try the Nova Color products. The other Illusion Bloom that I have done will be placed at the end of the video so that you can just go click to it. And I'm going to start a playlist so that it'll be easily found on my channel. I'm not going to talk a whole lot unless I need to explain something to you, but it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm just going to go around here and uh, put on some music for you and let you enjoy the process and uh, I'll see you when we have it done. Thanks for being here guys. First day of spring and I just want to sing to everything that's moving every single little thing to them birds flying free fish in the sea You also want to place them in the middle of the other ones that are already down. Try to place them in between the two once you get in the layers. 
that you've already been to like got this top tip and this tip you want to just kind of go in the middle here just takes practice to uh, get the get the right pressure. Ready to go. It's exciting to see one here without any pigment in it. In the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row like a little marching band. And they sing ooh, ah. All right. Well, I'm going to call it a day, and uh, this is what it looks like now. We haven't put any mica powder or anything to change the color of the gloss. It is clear. So we will see how it dries, um, and I will show you guys just as soon as I can. So stay tuned. Okay guys, I am back over in my studio and I am sorry that I look like this, but uh, I wanted to come and check on the painting, uh, texture, whatever we want to call it, right? So um, it is a little different and I think I may have been a little um, heavy handed when I was uh, putting the gel on and I also realized that the impasto paste is not really a clear drying paste. It doesn't dry clear. Um, I was under the illusion that um, it was because I've always tinted it with mica powder. This one, the first one that you saw, was tinted with mica powder, the silver, if you recall. Very pretty, beautiful. There's vibrant colors under here and it just pops. Um, this one, on the other hand, is a little more subdued. However, it's beautiful. But, um, not quite what I was going for. But it's great to see that we're getting some different results with the things that we are doing. So, um, I'm going to get back at it and try it again with maybe a different kind of gel. Um, if you guys have used the Nova gel, like I discussed in the video, please leave me a comment. I know that Tatiana has, um, and I'm gonna reach out to her, but I have some of that on order and it is on its way. So hopefully we can use that next time and, uh, really see what we're going to be getting into. So I'm, I'm super excited. You guys stay tuned and I will see you in the next video. Bye.